Welcome back. Today I'm going to make popcorn and I'm not going to make it in the microwave. I actually have a regular popcorn popper. Let's go over and take a look at it. So it is like a regular popcorn popper. It is a Princeton popper and I'm going to go to the counter and we're going to measure some things out. All right, so I'm going to make a lot of popcorn. I'm not going to film all of it, but I'm going to make a double batch starting off. So I'm going to do a cup of popcorn, and I use this brand of popcorn. And I like the yellow popcorn, original. So I'm going to tilt this down. that with my hand and then I need so that's one full cup I need two tablespoons of oil and I personally like sunflower oil I love the taste of sunflowers and the sunflower oil has a little bit of a taste to it so you can use sunflower oil you can use sapphire oil you could use corn oil do not use olive oil because it will burn um, the way it heats up it gets too hot to make popcorn with all right so let's measure out the two tablespoons we're going to have this little measuring device here and i'm going to do two tablespoons so if you're going to do half this amount you would do a half a cup of popcorn and one tablespoon of oil but i'm doing a double batch so i'm going to go all the way to the two line with my sunflower oil First thing I've done is I open up this little lid here and the instructions actually say to put the light on and the heater, add a teaspoon of oil for every half a cup. So I did, I mean a tablespoon, excuse me, a tablespoon. So I've done two tablespoons and a full cup of popcorn and heat to three to four minutes. And then it says, once the oil is heated, turn on the stir switch. So what I like to do, I found that it actually works better if you turn on the stir switch as well. So I got my light on. I'm going to turn on my heat. I'm going to, it's kind of hard to film. <laughs> I don't have a table right here, so bear with me. I'm going to add my oil but I'm gonna turn on my stir switch right now because that gets the oil all evenly heated in there. So then I'm gonna wait three to four minutes. I'm gonna check the clock and I will get back with you as soon as three or four minutes is up. Okay, so as soon as, you know, you're trying to figure out, is it three minutes, is it four minutes? It's hard to see in there, but it's starting to um, steam up. So once it starts to steam up, it's hot enough. So I'm going to go ahead, you can see the steam coming out now. I'm going to go ahead and add my cup of oil. And not to exceed one cup, they say. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up and we're going to wait. And I'll be right back with you when it starts popping. Okay, I love this sound. And I'm just going to keep the door open. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but for filming purposes, just so everybody can see. There we go. Love the sound of popcorn popping. Let's check back in just a few. There we go. It smells so good in the house. So what you have to do is you have to listen because as soon as it stops popping, you have to shut off the heating switch and the stirring switch. You can leave the light on. That actually helps keep the popcorn warm. So let's just listen. see it's starting to make a pretty good amount of popcorn. Hope 
hope everybody's having a good day. It's getting close. I don't hear a lot of popping. So we got to be very careful. Oh, my dogs are already at the ground because I had this door open. Some popcorn came flying out. Okay, it's almost time to turn it off. I gotta be very careful. We don't want burnt popcorn. It's still going a little. There goes the lid. This is a fun snack to make. I think I better turn it off. And then I'm going to take this. Oh, it's still popping. I thought I was done. Don't want to risk it having it burnt. We so go like this. And then you kind of check inside before you do your next batch and just make sure there's no pieces of popcorn underneath that little stirrer device. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue to make some more in a minute, but we can go ahead and go over to the counter and taste test some in just a few. But I'm going to show everybody first, actually, before we go and do the taste test, I'm going to show that I have this device over here. Oops. All right. <laughs> so I have this. And this is nice because you can go like this and shake it and then put it in the bag. So I'll do that and then we'll taste test some. So the little kernels are getting down these holes. There's like holes at the bottom, so they're going to fall down. I'm going to put it into a bag and then we will taste test it. An angle that works. Okay, so when I'm about halfway, I'm going to take my popcorn salt, because popcorn salt is a special, it's very, very thin, and it'll stay in your popcorn easier. So I'm going to add some, and then I'm going to continue to scoop out some more. Oops, there goes the dog's having popcorn. As long as your dog's not allergic to corn, you're okay. So you're scooping with the wide angle, and then putting it in your bag with a small angle. Okay, and then some more salt. Now, my husband likes butter, so when he comes home later, I will heat up with the smallest amount of butter. I'll put it in a container that I could put a lid on it, and then I'll shake it up, and then I'll put it into the bag. So, let's try this fresh popcorn. Mmm. Very, very good. To me, it tastes better than the movie theater. It's not all greasy and oily. It has a wonderful flavor. Very fresh. A little bit of salt, not too much salt, because I really want to taste the flavor of the popcorn, which is very delicious. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you make some popcorn for a quick and easy snack. Have a good day, and I hope that you subscribe to my channel if you don't already. If you do, thank you very much. Please like this video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.